All right, y'all. I've got a really good joke for this one. Here we go. The tools I'm introducing in this episode serve many different purposes. We'll start with the Sys internals. The Sys internals is a live toolkit that can be ran and used on a system without installing it. They're my favorite tools to use, and they serve many different purposes. I went ahead and handpicked four different tools that we'll be going over today. Access Enums, Auto Runs, Process Explorer, and TCP View. Here are some additional tools from Nearsoft that I recommend you check out. These are also live tools. Executed Program List, Full Event Log View, Open Files View, Task Scheduler View, and here are the last of the tools that I recommend. You'll need to install these onto your system. Microsoft Baseline Security Analyzer, Autopsy Forensics Kit, and HXD. Let's go ahead and take a deeper look into each of the tools that I just mentioned. Process Explorer is a powerful task management utility. It offers you many details in use, like process name, CPU usage, memory usage, PID, and description. More details are available to you if you choose to modify which columns you want to see. Some of the best features include the way the processes are linked together. You can see the parent and child relationship of certain processes to see if there's anything hiding behind another process. I'm looking at you, SVC host. Another solid feature here is the ability to verify signatures of files to see if they're authentic using VirusTotal. Auto Runs allows you to view the processes that would normally start with your computer. In addition to checking folders that would normally have startup items, it also checks system settings and registry settings for anything that would hide. This allows you to find items that are hiding from common view. You can also check the items with auto runs with VirusTotal, just like Process Explorer. Keep in mind that you're looking for suspicious entries, registry keys, or anything that looks out of the ordinary, but be careful when you're modifying registry keys. TCPU gives you a view of your network connections in real time. In addition to having only details you need, you can also view the program, the PID, the local address and port, and the remote address and port, and the transmission protocol. You're able to close connections, create who is requests, modify the refresh speed, and review process properties, like the location of the executable. This personally makes it better than NetStat. Being highly detailed and flexible makes it a solid tool to keep in mind. The executed program list gives you exactly what you're looking for, a list of executed programs. In addition to that, most of those entries will have additional details like the modification time, the creation date, size, location, and a bunch of other pieces of information that may assist you in that moment. If you're trying to look for a malicious program and you need more details on it, it's more than likely you'll be able to find it here. Full Event Log View gives you the event log, with the latest events happening. Being a tool that allows you to search for logs, change the refresh rate, how it updates, and many other features makes it a solid tool for looking at logs, if you know what you're looking for, that is. Open Files View allows you to look at the last file you've opened. You can also mess with the settings and add things such as auto refresh to see what is actively being opened. Task Scheduler View is similar to the Event Log tool. You'll have access to schedule tasks, their details, when they were made, triggers, and many more details. This can be incredibly helpful when attempting to find malicious programs in Task Scheduler, as it is very thorough in detail and searching and filtering through tasks is a breeze. Microsoft Baseline Security Analyzer is a tool offered by Microsoft to check for security updates and security flaws. Though it is on the older side, being a security tool, it can help you find commonly missed security configurations or diagnose missing updates and security flaws. When searching, be sure to scan your local host. All right, so this kit is free. It is a full-fledged forensics kit that offers you a bunch of features, like recovering deleted files, looking for files based on extension, a hexadecimal viewer, a mismatched extension checker. This toolkit 
is called the Autopsy Forensics Kit. As an example, documentation might rule out having things like pictures or media files on your computer. Autopsy will find those items. Now, sometimes files might be mismatched, meaning the extension was changed. As an example, let's say we have a picture. It looks like a picture on paper, but it's actually an executable. Not only will Autopsy find this, but it'll filter it out as well and let you know that the extension is mismatched. This forensics kit also comes with a couple of additional features that I find very useful to use during forensics. These tools include the ability to find deleted files. You'll do it like so, and it'll be able to find everything. It's as simple as sorting out the time and date for everything by clicking this. Another feature I enjoy is the hexadecimal editor. The hexadecimal editor allows us to take a closer look into files, and someone who can interpret it would be able to find additional things in there, such as hidden messages or whatever file it originally was in the event that we had a mismatch on the extension. Autopsy has a lot of features. It's an incredible program to experiment with. Whenever you boot up Autopsy, you're going to want to make sure to start a case and configure the settings correctly. If you're going to analyze the computer itself, you'll use the local disk when working like this. Okay, so this is just a hexadecimal editor. Personally, Autopsy could serve as it, but if you're not down to install it, the program that I'm suggesting, HXD, will do just fine. Some examples as to why you would use a hex editor would include some forensics tasks like these. To take a very close look at certain files, or when attempting to determine what kind of file a certain item is. That's pretty much the entire video. These tools will serve you well if you learn how to use them properly for their purposes intended. Let's wrap up for what we learned today. Sys internal tools, NERSoft tools, Microsoft Baseline Security Analyzer, and Autopsy Forensics Kit. That's it for this episode. In the next one, we're going to be taking a look at our last subjects before we finish off the series.